Wakey, 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 wakey. It's time for school. Come on. Hey you! It's Katie you. Today we have another collab video and today is very, very near and dear to my heart because I've been watching this girl, Simone, since before I freaking started YouTube. She's actually one of the girls that I was binging, trying to gain the guts to start my YouTube channel. So we have Simone to thank for my YouTube channel today, literally. Hey guys, it's Simone Squared. I'm on Katie's channel today and today we're gonna be doing 30 outfits for back to school. Period. Period. So we asked you guys over on our Instagrams to send all of the most specific back to school scenarios. Everything from bumping into your crush to crushing on your hot professor to running late to class. We got it all covered. The first 15 will be on my channel and then head over to Simone's channel for the rest. Hope you enjoy. Period. Alrighty, we're starting off with a classic. That was disgusting. Let's do that again. Starting off with a very classic scenario. Walking into a hot guy and dropping all your books and he helps you pick them up. So, th oops. This is what I would wear bumping into a hot guy. And you might be thinking, Katie, heels to school? So freaking unrealistic. But listen, bumping into a hot guy, is that freaking realistic? No, it isn't. So, I went for a clashing contrast of both sweetheart and boss ass silhouettes because I think it's important to channel both of those in first impressions. I also think pattern pants are a great way to make your outfit memorable. All right, now let's practice bumping in. Ready? Action. This next one is also so oddly specific. I mean, that's the theme of this whole video, but it's on my way to cry in therapy after turning in my last final. I decided to repurpose the sweater that I used in my last one where I was bumping into and seducing the hot guy to a more slouchy, comfy loungewear fit. I decided to drape over this white knit shawl. The logic behind this is that this is a huge tissue. Wow. This. It's a big fat ass tissue to wipe your tears, very convenient. Now with this outfit, you can wear any white bottoms, but I personally opted for sweats because my therapy appointments are always online. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Better Help. I've been very, very open about my therapy journey on this channel. I think it is so, so important, especially in today's day and age where we are increasingly being isolated. So a great resource that I recommend you guys is Better Help. Better Help is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online and especially with a lot of you guys watching going back to school stress is bound to be high and so BetterHelp can be a great resource if you don't think you have time in your schedule to go to a physical office. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you to your perfect match within their counselor network and you can start talking to them within 48 hours. Their services are available worldwide and they have over 15,000 counselors ready to communicate with you via message and you can also schedule video calls with them so you a never have to wait in a waiting room as you would in a physical office and b you can easily reschedule or switch to new counselors according to your needs it's also more affordable than traditional counseling and they offer financial aid for anybody who needs it so if that sounds like something that is interesting to you please go to betterhelp.com slash katie that's better h-e-l-p.com slash kt to get 10 percent off your first month and join over 1 million people People taking charge of their mental health. I got you. The stress of back to school is real. Okay, this next one is actually such a useful scenario and I'm so glad that somebody submitted it. And it's thinking about going to the gym after class, but wanting to look cute still. I do love working out in between classes because it forces you to get your workout in and not procrastinate in the gym. But it took me a while to calibrate how I dressed. Let me take you along my process. This is what I would probably wear at the gym, like to lift and stuff. But obviously, if you don't wanna to go to class like this, this is what you do. First, I always go for a pair of structured, not overly baggy sweatpants. And now you have a little bit more coverage. You can stop here if you want, but if you wanna take it to the next level, you can throw on a statement piece sweater vest like this, and it will absolutely mask the fact that you are wearing any type of athleisure, any type of legging spandex material, because 
Now it just looks like a quirky old fit, you know? So obviously the hot guy that I bumped into at the very beginning of this video totally fell for me when I dropped my books and he fell for me literally. And now we're going on our first date. Duh. This is my advice for when you're going on like a nonchalant date. Always bring something or wear something that they can comment on. They're gonna be like, oh my god, what is that on your bag? Why are there cherries on your bag? People on dates tend to ask stupid questions like that, but anything to fill the silence, you know? I made sure to go for a fit that is definitely flirty and says like, bro, dude, sis. Inclusive here. I'm into you. I read somewhere that the decolletage area can actually be biologically very alluring. <laughs> when you frame it and show it off in the right way. Biologists, psychologists, cancel me in the comments if I'm incorrect, but I did read that somewhere. Why was I reading that? I'm not gonna tell you. And we're ready to go. I really hope y'all hit it off. I hope y'all both get good grades, um, but I hope you do slightly better than them. So then they ask that you tutor them next time. Yeah, we're manifesting that. I'm so glad I no longer have to experience this because my apartment that I'm moving into this upcoming year has in-house laundry, but when I was living in a dorm, <laughs> when someone moves your laundry and you're only 0.25 seconds late, literally, this would happen to me all the time. The intensity of the laundry room is just part of the circle of life, the levels of survival that it takes to be a college student. I'm keeping it realistic, no shoes, okay? Because you're running. All your stuff is in the wash you only have a few pieces left but it's still gonna look cute and this tote bag is your hamper let's just pretend <laughs> still got it kind of okay a lot of y'all have hot teacher hot professor kinks okay i'm just gonna call you out so i chose the most uh appropriate one and it's Asking a doubt to a professor you have a crush on. See, that's that's mild. We got it. We can all have a little crush. Let's not forget that you're going to office hours with a doubt, a question. So you want to be taken seriously by dressing the part. I feel like this tweed jacket just emanates professional, academic, teacher vibes. And this is just a tactic I do anywhere that I want to be taken seriously. When I go to the doctor's office or when I go to the DMV, I dress professionally because if I come in like sweatpants, they're going to view me as a stupid 21 year old, which I am but I don't want them to think that. And overall, the lace detailing on this tank and how it ties it together with the different shades of blue creates a look that says, remember me. I'm not just another student that wants their grade rounded up. Now this is one that hits home. Being the last two people at the library at 2 a.m. studying for finals. I still remember the first all-nighter that I pulled in college. It was with my friend Hannah, who you have seen on this channel. Our class was on Monday. The final exam was on Tuesday. And how this school building was structured was that the lecture hall was on the first floor and then the other floors would be study rooms that students could use. So what we did is we attended the class on Monday in the lecture hall. Then we went upstairs, claimed a study room, stayed there, for 24 hours. Then the morning of Tuesday, we went downstairs. Like we freaking lived there and this was our home and we took the exam. Bruh. I don't try that hard for my classes anymore. Obviously you can't get too creative with studying fits. You just wanna be as comfortable as possible, but a foolproof way to look put together when you're not is to just go for a monochrome look, which is what I did here. It's just warm white tones from head to toe, all the way down to my earrings and my tote bag. Woo! And the little accents of color that you do see, I made sure to coordinate like the red on here with the cherry. Just the little elements to make it a little bit more playful when you're feeling dead inside. Yeah. And for continuity of the storyline, we have this next scenario. Showing up 15 minutes late to take your final after an all-nighter. The one that we just pulled, remember? But somehow keeping it together. Obviously, if you pulled an all-nighter and you're late, don't have much time to change. But I do think that what you wear during an exam actually dramatically impacts your mental psyche because the more put together you look, the more put together your brain is gonna be tempted to act. So I kept the sweats and the shoes, but I switched out the top to be a little preppier, a more put together look that keeps you in the zone while you're taking the exam. So yeah, take care of yourselves. Understand that all-nighters are unavoidable sometimes, but usually they're not worth it. They're just not. I have styled for this occasion multiple times before, but it never gets old and it's frat parties. Specifically, frat party where Chad 
spills a drink on you. Freaking Chad, we knew he was gonna do it. Uh, to ensure that your clothes don't get ruined by Chad spilling drinks on you. I opt for black always. You could easily stop here if you are into bodycon, but for me personally, I would layer a tennis skirt over it. Did you expect anything less? Chad, stay away from me. Social distancing. I hereby certify this fit as A grade comfortable and Chad proof. I've unfortunately experienced this next scenario way too many times. It's honestly kind of bad and it's overdressing for a presentation to hide the fact that your presentation is kind of bad. <laughs> we're stressed, depressed, overdressed, but at least we uh, look like we're having our shit together, right? <laughs> when you're presenting, you have to wear something that you will not think twice about so that you're not focusing on, do I look like shit right now? You're focusing on what words do I say next when I click to the next slide? So for me, it's obviously puff sleeve and high waisted pants that fit me like a glove. I channeled professionalism via my pearls on my bracelet my waist and my ears. So there's like a form of cohesion, like, oh, this girl like knows how to tie points together. As you can see. <laughs> this next one is a very underrated scenario that a lot of people are not prepared for and think about. So I'm so glad we're tackling this topic. And it's basically move in day. So meeting roommates while moving all your stuff into your dorm after traveling for over three hours. Yeah, it's a lot. It's hard to balance comfort with the cuteness of a first impression. And so this is also kind of hard to put together for me, but this is what I came up with. I opted for baggy wide leg pants that have an elastic waistband. You hear me? No buttons so that no matter what you're doing, it breathes and stretches with your body. And then for the top, I went for a super stretchy cotton blue puff sleeve top because again, when you're making first impressions, you do not ever want to be fidgeting with your top or wondering, do I look cute in this? You just gotta know. And bonus points that it color coordinates with my bottoms. This makes me so nostalgic for the olden days. First day of school and you're trying to find your class by making 100 U-turns in the halls. And that's kind of crazy because I'm a senior now, so I don't think I'll ever feel that feeling again of being lost in a new campus, so cute. You guys have seen this in my previous video. I tried to think of a different outfit that I would wear on the first day, but I just can't because this one is perfect. I am a huge proponent of wearing a statement piece on the first day so that people remember you, especially if you're new. I went for chunky old school filas and I think it's really, really important that your feet are super comfortable on the first day because yeah, you are going to be traveling a lot more than you should be because you're making a ton of U-turns and the last thing you want is aching feet stressing you out on top of syllabi and new friends and the cafeteria lunches. As expected, we got a ton of submissions about being late to class, but still finding a way to look bomb. Walking in, especially to a crowded lecture where there's no seats left, except for this awkward one in the middle row. So you have to climb over people while the professor's lecturing. It's just the biggest nightmare. So you gotta look hot, which is why we went for this preppy chic fit. These are my two tips. Throw a button down under it and coordinate your outfit color with your socks, okay? It really ties it together. This next one, something I do on the daily, sitting in the library pretending to be the main character of a romance book. How meta. A library means light academia, period. And so I channeled beige tones, which are one of the key colors of the light academia aesthetic. And I went back to the badass energy of the slit cut pants and the white heels, because I think the white heels really tie well together with the blouse that I threw on under this. Do I look like a protagonist where a hot guy will sit across from me at the library and make eye contact with me and then we're gonna bond over the book that I'm reading? And the final outfit is when you are hungover from going too hard last night, but you have an 8 a.m. class. We don't want to be seen, our head hurts, so we have a cap to hide our identities and hide our shame. We are still color coordinating, even when our head is pounding. So the gray, gray, black, black. And of course, any time that your fit is a little bit lackluster, what do I say? Accessories matter so much. So we went for a lot of gold bowl jewelry, a lot of bracelets, a necklace, rings, and they just distract from the lack of life in your eyes. Woo! Guys, look at the sexy pile of clothing. Wow, it looks really small on this camera. That's a little offensive. That wraps up the back to school scenarios video. Things are still so up in the air, but y'all are all troopers for continuing to show up and continuing to educate yourselves. And so I'm so glad I was able to help out 
and you looking a little cuter in your day-to-day -day at school. Good luck. I love you. You're gonna do great. Stay in school, kids, and I'll see you next week. All the time I turn around, brought this guy around, only looking at me, I'm and down, looking at my oh. What's And that wraps up my presentation. Any questions? I ain't trying to run up, drum a little mama, I don't want to take a man, and I know I'm coming out just a little bit, cause even and I keep on repeating how the boys want to eat, but I'm trying to tell that it can't be treated like content because they say she's a bitch. Yes, Jacqueline in the back. What's your question? <clears throat>